This is Bentley on Kent Washington. Uh, kind of a change up from my usual video. Uh, I wanted to start with first a, a massive thank you. Uh, there's been a lot of folks who have recently subscribed to the channel, like about 70 of you actually. Um, and most of that I, I would have to assume is after you saw uh, The Secret History of Living Inside Your Aquarium, or Alex as I better know him, uh, doing kind of a tour of my two kind of main fish rooms and basically like 90% of my current tanks. Um, so, thank you to all of you, you, as always, like, the fish family has to be one of the most amazing communities out there, um, you know, like, I'm also a gamer, but, like, that you can get some, some not-so-nice comments in gaming, where, like, the fish family has been nothing but love, and it's, uh, it's essentially fantastic. I'm glad that you guys enjoyed, uh, most, most commonly these awesome guppies here in this tank, which is why I'm behind that tank. Uh, but also, like, those zebra plecos, uh, oh, spoiler, the mystery pleco we're going to show is the zebras, uh, but I got a little short footage of that. They're pretty high any, but, uh, I got what I can. Um, and just, like, my rainbows and all that stuff, uh, the plants, they, you know, thank you, thank you very much. Um, you've, you've kind of pushed me into a level that I really was never expecting. I do YouTube kind of as a short hobby, almost documentary for myself to, like, watch the own evolution of my tanks and and projects I'm doing and, and sharing with a few people and now uh, thankfully a lot more of a few people so uh, from the bottom of my heart thank you so much uh, the fish family of course Alex um, I had an absolute blast while he was over here uh, we chatted for quite a while and more than likely um, you will you will probably see more of him or I across each other's channels uh, we talk pretty regularly uh, he's gone from just someone who I met through the club at a meeting, uh, I would say like five months ago, maybe four months ago, to someone I consider a very good friend. Uh, he's just an absolutely awesome person. Uh, I think I'm gonna commission him for a little bit of art for my channel to like try and look less like I'm doing nothing. <laughs> um, but he's, he's just fantastic. His channel is really awesome. It's a very different thing than your typical fish channel where you, you get these interesting history lessons um, and just, a massive thank you to the folks who came from Alex's channel uh, and the two videos that he did and have, have since subscribed to my channel. I appreciate it greatly. And with that, uh, uh, I've pushed past like the hundred, the first hundred subscribers, which is kind of a big thing in YouTube. Uh, and and I've even passed 150, closing in on 200. Uh, so I'm going to be doing a giveaway. So for those of you watching now, I'll give you in the next video details on how you can enter and what the prizes are. Uh, it'll be pretty simple. Uh, more than likely, I have to restrict it to the US and maybe Canada. Um, I need to look at a couple of things. I'm, think, I'm gonna try and find something that I can use more internationally, uh, and then other things that uh, might come out of my personal fish room. Uh, so more likely, things like plants, but we'll give you some exact stuff uh, in the next video. Uh, so let's get on to some more fun stuff. Let's check out those zebra plecos a little bit more. And then also, uh, one tank that Alex had mentioned, but we didn't really get to look at real closely. I got a short video just to show you guys. Uh, the Bupindi Crevensis, so that's Pelvicochromus teniatus Bupindi. Um, we'll show you those in a little more detail. Uh, and then of course, lots and lots of stuff on the zebra plecos. They're getting more comfortable, so they're coming out just a little bit more. So we can actually get even better footage of them. Again, Thank you guys to the Fish Family so much. Uh, to all of you new subscribers, which you know, basically doubled the size of my channel. Thank you so much for taking interest in my fish. Uh, and especially to all you guys who left comments. Uh, you, know, you, guys are all, you guys are all wonderful. And I tried to reply to almost everyone I could, uh, wherever it was specific questions or something like that. Uh, but feel free to comment in this video. If you have any questions about anything in my fish room, something you saw in Alex's video that you'd like to know more about, uh, I do my best to respond to pretty much everything. So feel free to comment down below. Uh, and again, Thank you guys so much. Stay awesome. All right, guys. So back to the more normal style of the video. Here they are, just like I said. Uh, if you guessed the L046, the Hypen Sister Zebra, the Zebra Pleco. In the last video, as the Pleco that got added to this fish room, you were correct. Uh, and if you saw Alex's video on the secret history of living inside your aquarium, part two of my fish room tour, uh, you got to see these guys the day after they arrived in my fish room. And as you can see now, they're a little more out. Uh, you can see these two adults basically side by side. 
Uh, they're still a little stressed. They really haven't hammered out territories yet. They're kind of bunched together. Like you can see, there's a couple there. And behind the two there, there are more hiding in back under that bit of slate. Uh, and you can see I'm just panning around. You'll notice like there's none over in the caves here. But we'll switch to a little video and you'll see one over toward that cave. They've kind of been moving around. They really haven't staked down territory yet. But as of right now, we have a colony of seven of these beautiful, beautiful fish. Uh, four adults that are three males, one female, and then three juveniles where hopefully I'll get at least one more female in that group. Um, these all came from Brian, if you remember from the last video, who had all those offer, awesome, awesome puffers. Um, and I've just been really looking forward to having a fish like this. So here you go, little little later video, and you can see there's one of the other adults over there just with that absolutely striking, cannot mistake, it's zebra pattern. Uh, and then you can see we got the one who's really been holding down the fort there, the little guy up there, um, just kind of all over the place. And, and for right now, we're going to add some more stuff in here. We'll probably add a bit of wood and, and a few other extra hides and stuff to help them have more room and feel a little more comfortable. We've been keeping the light above this tank typically off, uh, only having it on a short period of time, keeping it just more ambient light from the natural sun just to make them feel a little more relaxed. Uh, and then, of course, we've got tannins going in here. Um, this video actually was shot before the previous video you saw. Um, so there's no tannins in here quite yet, and kind of bad reflection as I'm trying to get some video here. But you can see that one zebra is like, no, get that camera away from me, man. Uh, just kind of hiding further back in the cave. Uh, but we'll put some more hides in here, just give them some more room. And hopefully, uh, you know, we do some... Some water changes to cool them down. Typically, keep these guys pretty warm. Um, I'm gonna. My goal is to keep them about 82 to 84. Little bitty guy there. Um, and then you water change them with cooler water to simulate rainstorms during the flooding season, because that's when they spawn. So that water change water cools it off a little bit, uh, helps kind of flush stuff out, chills the water down. Simulate some of the things that are going on when they spawn. Uh, we got some catapa leaves in here to give them a little leaf litter because sometimes the the younger guys will go after that to get some of the microorganisms. And then these guys eat, you know, bloodworms, brine shrimp, some rapashi, uh, a lot of more meaty foods. These are pretty much pure carnivores. Um, they're going to eat a lot of meaty foods. Some of them will eat algae tabs or eat some veggies. Um, the previous owner, Brian, had mentioned that he would put zucchini in. These guys wouldn't even touch it. So we'll be sticking to a more meaty diet. We've got pretty good flow. Uh, we're going to add an extra like sponge in here for some extra oxygenation just to kind of get even more flow going because hopefully that'll kick them off and get them closer to spawning. And if we could spawn these, man, how awesome would that be? Also, if you watched Alex's video, uh, Brian's cousin contacted me. And uh, he has a colony of leopard frog plecos that he doesn't uh, want to keep anymore. He's changing his fish room. He's going to big stuff like stingrays. And I'm going to film that too. And you guys are going to get to see it. It's pretty amazing some of the stuff he's got. And uh, I'll show you just the start of the tank that those guys are getting right here. You can notice the water is already getting that kind of tea color. We got some catapa leaves in there. This is just a 40 breeder with uh, an AC 110 on the back and a little heat. We're just doing the cycling right now. It'll be about another week before those fish show up in the fish room. But uh, be excited for that too. Uh, and then I mentioned in the intro here, here are all the young pelvic acromus teniatus bipindis. And you can, like, really, if you just pay attention, you can easily make out the females, those little purple bellies. The males, uh, a little more kind of gold color in the body or pale. This is their early adult coloration. They'll start getting more and more color as they start to pair off or to do their breeding rituals for the first few times and try to attract their mates. Uh, you'll see more color out of these guys. Uh, these are some, Alex has some of these. Uh, he got from our local club auction. Uh, and he didn't even know they were my fish until I came up and I went, hey man, did you get some of those Bipindi cribs? And he was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I go, oh, dude, those are my fish. And he's like, oh, if I'd have known they were yours, <laughs> I'd have just gone to you. But, uh, you know, these, these guys have been a lot of fun. They're getting to the size, though, where they're going to start getting a little more territorial. And they're going to pick a little bit of fighting. Uh, pick a little bit of fighting. Pick fights. Jeez, English. Uh, but so pretty soon these guys are going to get going. They'll go to some local stores uh, and maybe some local club members as well. And then uh, mom and dad, which you've seen in previous videos, will probably get moved back into this tank. Um, they've been in a 10-gallon for a while. And while they're doing okay in there, I think they like the bigger tank, a little more room. 
Uh, they get they have a little more fun in this thing. You can see, look at those beautiful little girls up there, that brilliant purple color. And that's just the start. Eventually, they get their whole body is that purple, and it gets super dark when they're in their breeding color. It's like royal purple. Uh, it's absolutely beautiful. And the males get this nice little kind of brassy gold color, a uh, little purplish red in their finnage. Brilliant, brilliant leopard spots in the finnage. Uh, they're they're very very handsome. And then some uh, yellow down in the throat. You can see on that young some of the young males in there. You'll see like kind of a yellow throat. Uh, they're good looking fish. Then just over here you can see kind of a field of crips. Just to show pool filter standing crips, you can do it. It's slower. It takes your time. Uh, you'll need root tabs, but you can do crips in that. <laughs> just a little like I I want to show because a lot of people are like you can't do root feeders and pool filter sand. You can. You just gotta like you gotta work at it a little more. Uh, and finally, I just <laughs> show you some more of the guppies up close. I just really want to thank everybody. Um, it has been quite the experience, uh, both returning to this hobby uh, and more importantly, like the the amount of amazing people that are in the fish community. Um, I just I just kind of wanted to say thank you to you guys. Uh, just for being awesome. And like I said, in the next video, um, I'm going to do a giveaway just to kind of celebrate getting to 100 subscribers, uh, especially for a guy who, uh, you know, does this more as a minor hobby uh, on top of their fish keeping habit and kind of for self documentation and like being able to watch things. Um, you know, little, little, it's, it's all about like really enjoying the little things, right? And little things like this, uh, they mean the world to me. So from the bottom of my heart, thank you so much. And one last little clip we're going to leave you on. I caught some slow motion of these guppies uh, using my Pixel 2. And you can just watch the finage and the color as they move around in slow-mo. Uh, it's kind of incredible to watch just how the fins ripple. Things that you might not really see as well on a camera at normal speed, but the naked eye can catch. And when you finally slow it down, you know, you get to see this cool fluctuation in color and the flutter and just everything that makes fish mesmerizing. Uh, if you watched Alex's video, I told the story about how I've been into fish since before I can remember. Um, and if you haven't watched those videos, I'm going to have links down in the description. Honestly, it was a lot of fun uh, kind of telling my story and showing off a lot of my fish to Alex um, and just letting letting people kind of have a, a glimpse into my fish room through the perspective of a different person other than me um, so that you actually like, you know, see me on camera, hear my story and why I do some of the things I do. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching. Be watching for the next video. And down in the comments, let me know what you would like to see in the uh, the next video. Would you like to see more of my Plants for Profit series? Or are there some specific fish that you would like to see a lot more detail on? Uh, maybe like a mini tutorial on how to keep something. Uh, let me know in the comments, please. Especially if you've watched uh, Alex's videos. Again, I'll link those down in the description. And as always, you know, stay awesome. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Uh, just for all the love and support uh, and enjoy your fish.